Hi guys, welcome back to Epistemi. Today, we are going to discuss 5 most disgusting disease you never want to have, ever. Starting with a deadly disease, Noma, also referred to as Cancro Morris, is a rapidly progressive, polymicrobial, often gangrenous infection of the mouth or genitals. It is caused by Fusobacterium necroforum, is thought to be key players in the process, and interact with one or more other bacterial organisms. The mucous membranes of the mouth develop ulcers, and rapid, painless tissue degeneration ensues, which can degrade tissues of the bones in the face. In a condition, sometimes called Noma Pudini, Noma can also cause tissue damage to the genitals. Children and other Noma survivors in Africa are helped by a few international charitable organizations, such as Facing Africa, a UK-registered charity that helps Ethiopian sufferers, and Swiss charity Winds of Hope. Recently, a case was reported from Nepal, where the 19-year-old girl received free surgical treatment in Chitwan Medical College, India. The team of the brilliant Indian surgeons was led by Dr. Sushil Subadi, oral and maxillofacial surgeon and the head of department. Second is harlequin type ichthyosis. It is a very rare severe genetic disease, which causes thickening of the skin. At birth, the child's whole body is encased in an armor of thick white plates of skin, separated with deep cracks. In addition, the eyes, ears, penis, and limbs may be abnormally contracted. Because of resultant cracked skin in locations where normal skin would fold, it is easily pregnable by bacteria and other contaminants, which can result in serious risk of fatal infection. It is an autosomal recessive congenital ichthyosis, which is a group of non-syndromic disorders of keratinization. It is associated with a mutation in the gene for the protein ABCA12. The disease has been known since 1750 and was first described in the diary of a cleric from Charleston, South Carolina, the Rev. Oliver Hart. In his diary he described the child as on Thursday, April the 5th, 1750, I went to see a most deplorable object of a child, born the night before of one Mary Evans in Chisatown. It was surprising to all who beheld it, and I scarcely know how to describe it. The skin was dry and hard and seemed to be cracked in many places, somewhat resembling the scales of a fish. The mouth was large and round and open. It had no external nose, but two holes where the nose should have been. The eyes appeared to be lumps of coagulated blood. It made a strange kind of noise, very low, which I cannot describe. It lived about 48 hours and was alive when I saw it. Leishmaniasis, also spelled leishmaniosis, is a disease caused by protozoan parasites of the genus Leishmania and spread by the bite of certain types of sandflies. Infections in humans are caused by more than 20 species of Leishmania. Risk factors include poverty, malnutrition, deforestation, and urbanization. All three types can be diagnosed by seeing the parasites under the microscope. Additionally, visceral disease can be diagnosed by blood tests. The 1917 case of cutaneous leishmaniasis in the Middle East, known then locally as Jericho Buttons, for the frequency of cases near the ancient city of Jericho, Lewandowski Lutz dysplasia. This is an extremely rare autosomal recessive hereditary skin disorder associated with a high risk of skin cancer caused by human papilloma virus HPV. These patients gives rise to scaly maculopapular lesions of the hands and feet, which have been fancifully likened to tree bark. It was first described by Felix Lewandowski and Wilhelm Lutz in 1922, both dermatologists. More than 200 cases have been reported in the literature so far. Myiasis, it is the parasitic infestation of the body of a live mammal by fly larvae, maggot, that grow inside the host while feeding on its tissue. Although flies are most commonly attracted to open wounds in urine or feces, they can create an infestation even on unbroken skin and have been known to use moist soil and non-myiatic flies, such as the common housefly, as vector agents for their parasitic larvae. Larvae may infect dead, necrotic, prematurely dying, or living tissue in various sites, the skin, eyes, ears, stomach and intestinal tract, or in genitourinary sites. The Reverend Frederick William Hope coined the term myiasis in 1840 to refer to diseases resulting from dipterous larvae as opposed to those caused by other insect larvae. Thank you, for watching. I hope you enjoy, if you want to give a any suggestions or recommendations, please comment below, and if you like the video, hit that like button.
I really need it, and please subscribe, it will really help me.